This video is going to be on urea and creatinine physiology. And first I'll start off by talking about urea. So urea is derived from proteins, amino acids, or ammonia. And these can be either metabolic processes or absorption through the GI tract. Um, but whatever the source, the ammonia that is derived from these substances eventually makes its way to the liver and the liver converts the ammonia to urea. The urea is then uh, excreted out into blood and it's excreted from the body by two different um, routes, either the kidneys or the GI tract. And I'll start first talking about the kidneys. So the urea is filled, freely filtered into the uh, glomerular ultrafiltrate and uh, most of the urea makes it out into the urine, but the tubule does resorb some of the urea and that urea makes it back into the blood. So again, urea can also be excreted by the gastrointestinal tract um, and it can eventually make its way out into the feces. And I have drawn here a rumen and colon. Um, but it can be excreted in any species, so dogs and cats as well, it can make it out into the feces. But I have the rumen and colon drawn because uh, when the urea makes it into those areas, the bacteria that live there can convert that urea into ammonia, and the ammonia can be resorbed um, and make its way back into the body. Now when it does this, this is called urea recycling, and this is the reason why urea is not as good as a marker for GFR in large animals compared to creatinine. Okay, so now I'll talk about creatinine, and fortunately the physiology for creatinine is much more simplistic. So creatinine is a muscle breakdown product, and um, about equal concentrations of creatinine are released into blood each day and over time. And that creatinine is uh, freely filtered by the glomerulus, making it into the ultrafiltrate and into the urine. Um, so now should I, I should note that creatinine um, is not used as a marker of muscle injury. The kidney is very good at excreting creatinine, so in, in if you have a normal functioning kidney, then you shouldn't have buildup of creatinine with muscle injury. It is possible to get buildup of creatinine if you have um, renal insufficiency, um, but a normal functioning kidney, you should not have it with muscle injury. So the marker that we do use for muscle injury is called creatine kinase, or CK, and you'll learn more about that enzyme later.